What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid, guys. Um, guys, as per usual, drop a like if you are new, sub if you are new, because we're gonna give away 10k MT to a Ram sub and a Ram commenter. So, uh, 40 likes on the vid, somebody gets 10k MT. It's very simple, just drop that like, um, watch the vid because, uh, this is a very easy vid, it's a sniping tutorial. It's gonna be on like what to snipe, who to snipe, how to snipe efficiently. Because one of my subs asked me, how do you snipe if, like, you're just not good at it and you're in a beginner? Because he said he sniped for an hour and a half and only pulled 3K. And literally, I actually just recorded this video and for some reason the audio did not work. And I literally sniped, like, five cards. I sniped a Jason Tatum, two Lillards, and um, one other card. I don't forgot what it was, but I made about 5K in the 10-minute span of a video. So, I'm going to show you what to snipe and how to do it efficiently. In this video so let's get into it um first off let's just let's just get into it so what i like to start off with sniping is before i even look at anything i just go to zion dude zion for some reason is active i actually sniped him like four times all right nothing there but usually i snipe zion guys this is how you snipe if you guys don't know you literally just have to put your maximum buyout to whatever and just Right now, the auction's broken, and I'm going to show you why. Because if you look up silver, bronzes pop up. So right now, the only way to really snipe is by looking up players. So I'm going to look up Patty Mills Silver. This is for people with lower coins. Uh, 2,600 right there for Patty Mills. It's clearly not a snipe. Uh, what you want to look at for sniping, you want to look at 3 hours and 59 minutes. End price. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's go to Clay Thompson because he's very active. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's go, Clay Thompson. So 329, nothing active. That's not a good example. So let's go to Kyrie. You got want to see three hours and 59 minutes, or 11 hours and 59 minutes, or 23 hours and 59 minutes? Because if you don't see that, that means it's not active, and that means you're not gonna. That means the card's been up there for a while. So you want to look for that uh, exactly that. So ready? Three hours and 54 minutes. Okay, it's been up there for six minutes, and it's not the cheapest. So that's another not good example. Right now, it's looking like the market is a little slow, but I want to just show you what I'm talking about for all you beginners out there. So ready? We're going to scroll over to here. Another, all right, not a bad example, but Lillard for th uh, 3 hours and 53 minutes. You want to see 3 hours and 59 minutes, guys. That's what you want to see. And as you can see, I just sniped the Lillard. I made about 1K on him. It's not really a snipe, but after the reduction, making 1K is not that bad, especially if you do like 5 of them every 10 minutes. It adds up. So, let me think. What other uh, Ruby point guards are there? Uh, Ruby point guards are the way to go, in my opinion. Westbrook. Let's see if they have an active Westbrook. For some reason right now, I guess it's not a good time to snipe because a lot of people are in school. But I would say when a lot of kids come out of school around like 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it's probably a really good time to snipe during the day. That's when I usually get all my snipes right here as a snipe. 6,900 for Westbrook. So, literally, I made... Oh, baby. So, let's see how much Westbrook is. I just got him for 6-8. As you can see, it was 3 hours and 58 minutes. And, yes, that looks like it was a pretty good snipe. All right. 11K for Westbrook. We got him for 6-8. That's going to be about 3,000 coin snipe right on camera. So, right there, guys, I made about 3K of one snipe. It's that easy, guys. Um, it's that simple. I'm telling you right now. Uh, let's keep going. Let's see if we get some more snipes, but man, I like Ruby. I'm telling you right now, Ruby is the way to go. The Ruby tier. Just try to get 10 to 20k around, around that, and just start sniping. If you don't want to snipe like consistently, snipe out a car, put them on the auction if you don't got the coins, and then go play a triple threat game. Come back, the car will sell because cards sell fast in this game, which is very good. Um, I'm telling you guys. Play some triple threat games, snipe, that's what I do. I usually snipe for a little bit and then go play some domination game, come out, my cards are sold, and I go back to sniping. That's the way I do it. That's the way you guys should do it. It's the most efficient way to snipe. But right now, it's looking like the Lillard's dry. So we're going to go over to Carl Anthony Towns. He's around 8K, 9K. Guys, if you also need help with pricing, just let me know. I know everyone's priced on the top of my head. I don't even write anything down. 8K cat, I think that's a snipe. We're going to take the risk. If it's not, he's going on my team, so... All right, eight, nine, and nine. Uh, it's not really a snipe. It's a good card to keep. He is gonna go right in my collection. Uh, I actually do need a good center, so Carnathy Towns a stack. But even if I, I, I probably could sell him later on for a little more expensive. Probably nine five. I can make about seven hundred MT. But right now, I would come out even if I sell him for eight eight. So I will come out even on that card. 
Um, but as you can see, the auction is not that slow. It's doing decent. Always make sure you just, I would just stay on Ruby. I feel like it's the most efficient, fastest way to snipe. Lillard is dry right now. Let's see if we can snipe out of Clay Thompson. But guys, if you don't know how to snipe, um, this video should help you. It's very simple. Make sure you always scroll to the three hours and 59 minute mark, 11.59 minute mark, and 23.59 minute mark. So for instance, this Clay Thompson is three hours and 26 minutes. It's not fresh, dude. It's an old post. You don't want to buy this. Never buy any cards unless you snipe them. That's my rule. If I'm gonna buy a team, you wanna snipe out a car, snipe cards. And for Amethyst, bro, um, you always wanna set the bar lower. Like, so Giannis is about 95K. I'm gonna put it to like 80. As you can see, nothing. I did snipe out a Giannis for 75K and I sold him for 98K all overnight. So that was a really good snipe. I made about probably 13K clean off that just alone or like 10K clean, something like that. Just off Giannis alone. Also, another good Ruby is snipe. Uh, is Jokic just because he's so cheap? This is for kids with lower MT, and it's very it's it's kind of hard to snipe him because he's there's so many on the auction. But if you could find one for like 3k, that would be a good snipe. So as you can see, this one just got posted for 6k, but it's not a good price. He has one for four four thousand, so that's not a good price right there. But if you want to pick up this card right here for four thousand nine, you could probably sell him for a little more later on in the day. Uh, if you wait till the nighttime, I notice that a lot of cards drop a lot. I mean, not drop. They go up a lot. So if you want to snipe out some cards during the day and you want to wait till the, the night, I would actually kind of recommend it because prices do go up towards the night. Not a lot of people are on. So it's definitely a good idea to try that out. But uh, also, another good card that I was looking at before, Jason Tatum is at 6K and he's an Emerald. So if you guys have him... It's not a bad card to snipe because he has a high demand because it's Jason Tatum. For some reason, everybody likes him. So I actually just saw mine in the video. If you go back to the beginning, I sold him for 6K. He's at 71. If you could snipe out one for like 3K, you're valid. And honestly, Emeralds are really not that hard to snipe. Also, um, some other cards that are good. Luka Doncic and Przingad because they're like 8 to 10K. And they're not too hard to snipe. 7K for Luka. Let's see if I go in for six. All right, nothing for Luca. Let's see if I get a Przingad for like nine. That would be awesome. Nothing. But yeah, guys, Um, I hope this vid is helping you out. It's just pretty much, you just got to be consistent. Like, what did I make so far? I got one snipe and I made 3K in about, what, five minutes? So it hasn't been that bad. 3K in five minutes is definitely not terrible. Um, You could also go to Silver's. You could get really lucky with silvers. There's a lot of silvers that go for 7k. If you could snipe them out for cheap, it would be awesome. Like this dude in my video, uh, he was 6k literally about two minutes ago. He's at 9.9 right now. Um, but I wish the auction block was working so I could show you some actual snipe filters. Like I would be camping on the silver filter. If you guys could somehow find a way to snipe silvers, I would highly recommend it. Because man, you can make so much MT off silvers. Maybe we could look up silver and raptors or something. Silver bucks. Let's see. Let's see if bronze. Do bronzes not pop up in this filter? I think I might have just found a way to snipe. Um, so try out this method. Silver and look up a team. It doesn't look like bronzes will pop up that way. Yeah, so looks like... Let's try out bulls. Let's try out cavaliers. So it looks like you could try this. 2500 for a deli. No good. You want to just keep looking. Try If you see... That looks like a snipe. Even if it's not, dude. Um, let's check his price. Even if it's not, dude, you'll what? You'll lose two hundred. You'll still make your money back no matter what. So that's perfect example. Wait, what was his name? Brian? Is that his name? What was his name? Oh, Bryant Will Brant Williams. What is that? Oh, Grant Williams. Okay, so Grant Williams. Let's check his price. See if we made some profit off. We got it for 25, 27. All right, we're going to make like 100 MT, but I just found out a way to snipe. If you guys want to, if you guys have lower MT, I would recommend trying the silver and just going by teams. Look up, like literally set your price at like a thousand something. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, 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 not shooting guard. So silver, set your price low and why are the bronze popping up again? So it looks like some bronzes are glitched on some certain teams. So try to stay away from those glitched teams. That's really all I could say. So let's go heat. 
I don't know what's good with the auction, but you guys understand the point. Try to stay with Ruby cards. Let's see if we can snipe one more Lily before the video's out. If we don't, at the end of the video, guys, let's see. 16, 14. Come on, let me snipe one. 14, 5, 14, 16. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this starter tip has uh, helped you out. Just all you have to do is stay your maximum to whatever you need. Just study prices a little bit, and you should be able to get some snipes. Um, not too bad. I made about 3K in 10 minutes. It could be better, but I would say the best time to snipe is definitely during the day when kids get out of school. That's what I would say. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more vids, and that's all I got. Have a good one. Peace.